Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're gonna be talking about something that I've honestly been putting off talking about just because it's a little bit more technical than what we've talked about so far. However, it is vitally important and I'm gonna do my best to make sure you understand it. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Now I left a subliminal message up here on the screen and there's this really cool function that we're gonna be using and it's called ID and you can pass an object in here such as task and let's print the return here. So whatever this function gives us. And this is a number that refers to where this object is located in memory. So the string is somewhere in our computer's memory. And what we can do is we can print this multiple times to confirm that the string stays in the same spot. <laughs> so you can see that the number is the same each time. So each time we print this, the task variable is referring to the same string or the same object more generally. So try not to get too technical here. However, the, the thing is that anytime we create a variable, that information has to be stored somewhere in our computer's memory, the computer's RAM. So what I wanna talk about is the immutability of strings. And when we have a string such as subscribe, we can't go change this string to something else. So as an example, let me get rid of two of these lines because we only need two of them. Let's change the string to something else, like so. And running this, you can see we now get two different numbers. So the area of memory that this variable pointed to changed. And that makes sense because we are assigning it a different value. And in fact, strings are immutable, meaning once a string is created, we can't change that string. So if we tried to do something like this, we said task index zero, hey, that's gonna get a character, but then let's say we tried to assign that something. So what if we said task index zero and assigned it a lowercase s? Well, in this situation, we're actually going to get an error. Stir object does not support item assignment. So in other words, the string cannot be changed. And the reason they worded it like so is because there are other objects that do support item assignment. So when we get into lists inside of Python, these are objects that are mutable. We can change all of the data inside of the list. And in that situation, printing the list twice, we would get the same exact value even if we changed the data. So if you understand this, great. However, if this is a little bit much for a beginner course, don't worry about it too much because we'll get back into this and we'll understand it better later on in this series. But let's just talk about a few things of why immutability is a good thing and why it's a good thing that we can't change strings. One of the big things with mutable data is that we can pass it around with an alias. We can create numerous variables to point to the same data. And as a result, the data can be changed in numerous different ways. And it can get a little sloppy and we can have unintentional changes to our data. This is actually not possible with Python. So, I mean, the only way we could, quote, change the data is if we replace it. But when we assign it to something else, that's not going to take effect. So let me just show you what I'm saying here. So let's say we said task and we're gonna do task plus an exclamation mark. Well, this just replaces the old string even though it looks like we're adding something to it. So these both have two different areas of memory. So if we were to take the task variable and assign it to a different variable, any changes to this different variable will not take effect in the task variable. So if we then went and printed task, we'll take a look at this. It still says subscribe, even though we assigned different task and changed it to hey. This would work differently if we were working with mutable data because different would basically be an alias to point to the same object. To see a simple example of this with mutable data, we'll get rid of that printing the ID, we don't need that anymore. 
and we'll put this inside of square brackets and then let's change that first piece of data. So we'll grab that first piece of data and change it to hey. Printing this now, when we print task, even though we changed this other variable different, those changes are shown when we print task. So these two variables point to the same data in memory and we can avoid that problem when we have immutable data such as strings. So strings are immutable, numbers are immutable, there are some other immutable objects out there, and then there's a bunch of mutable objects as well. So lists are an example of that, which is what we're doing here, and yeah. So that was just a taste of some more advanced Python. Again, hopefully you understood this, you know, watch it a few times and really try to code out the examples so you follow it. And I'm not implying that this is too difficult, however, the, the purpose of this course is for absolute beginners. So if this does not make sense to you yet, do not worry because we're going to come back to this and understand it at a much deeper level later on in this series and in other series on this channel. So stay tuned for the next video because we're going to learn a very useful function for strings and you'll be using this throughout your entire Python career. So stay tuned, I'll see you then.